Testing. All right, we've got sound. Well, the microphone's working. Welcome in, everybody. Um, <coughs> and I guess let's get started. What I'm wanting today, what I was thinking about was something relaxed. Kind of music you might hear in the background of a puzzle game, almost. You know what I mean? Like something... <coughs> yeah, not nothing too crazy. I think that's what we're going to go for. Um, yeah. <coughs> so, as per usual... We need to create a new score. I think if we're doing something gentle, uh, orchestral, obviously, we don't need a full symphony orchestra because we're not going to be using the brass section anyway. So I think we go for classical. Um, hang on a second. Do we want classical? <coughs> yes, we do. Because all we do is we take out the brass um, and timpani. I doubt we'll use a timpani either. So we'll have a string section and a, wounds, a woodwind section. Yeah, if we go string section, that's only your first and second violins and things like that. That's a string section only. And your symphony orchestra, I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. That's a full brass section here. We don't need all of this stuff. So I think a classical orchestra is more than enough. <coughs> um, a default safan. <laughs> Conventionally, they'd normally do uh, classical music um, like an E-flat or A-flat or something like that just because it's easier for um, a lot of your instruments. But <coughs> I'm going to keep it in A. I mean in C. What am I saying? <coughs> Andrew B. Fass felt. Uh, four, 4 is fine to me. I don't see that as being a problem at all. Um... We don't have a title yet. I already have a s kind of a melody in mind that I'm going to use. So the question is, what's going to be our primary instrument here? Uh, well, actually, firstly, let's get rid of our... Um, yeah, let's get rid of our horns and our trumpets. We do not need a brass section and we don't need a timpani either. <coughs> we really don't. All right, so what we've got is a simplified version then. Only two sections, woodwind and string section. And we want something. Um... I'm doing this because I want to check, make sure you guys can hear. Yeah, you can. We'll turn up the volume for you guys a little bit because this is going to be fairly soft. That's obviously not exactly what I was... Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, but I want... Um, <coughs> okay, we'll we'll fix the timing in a second. But um because <coughs> the thing is Da 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 da. Okay, so what this actually has to be a um. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Nice. <coughs> I think 
I think this needs to be a that. What? No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh, make that a double. Uh, no, but that's not in the right place. So, da da bum bum. Oh, da 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 da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is actually okay. <coughs> this is actually a, a four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then this actually has to happen over two bars. That's where we're going wrong. So. And then. <clears throat> like that. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> I just... So that I can actually hear what's going on. Because it's very quiet for me if I don't do this. Let's switch off my main monitors. <clears throat> okay. So... Uh, the other thing is, I almost want this to start on like the second bar or something. I don't know. And we want this to be a little bit faster. <coughs> Just a tad too slow for my liking. So let's go to um, tempo. <coughs> and it's not 80. Oh, I'm going to say about 140 it might be a bit fast. Okay. <coughs> 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 so hang on. <coughs> so we'll make a subtle change. Okay, I like that. So now, this ends up being our main part. Make that a two because um, that's a two note. <coughs> and 
Okay. Wait, we may as well <coughs> hang on. Well, that's a four. No, okay, okay. <clears throat> it's actually just that because Um, yeah. <coughs> and there's another one we got to tie together before we forget. Uh, well, tie those and this. Oh, and this. I think that's it, from what I can see. Yeah, all right, so this is our first melody. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not 100% convinced, but we have a starting point. That's what matters. Uh, when we want to, so what will probably happen is we'll probably bring in, um, put a bit of violin after this and then actually repeat the whole thing. But you see what we'll do is we'll add in basically the same melody, but on oboes. And then have the oboes harmonize in certain places just to add a bit more feeling. <coughs> so, let's just listen to this. <coughs> yeah, I think we need to, I think, I really think we need to move this up. I don't think it's going to work where it is. I think we've got to start it there. And the reason being, because I want to bring some violins, I want to swell my string section. And so, oh, excuse me, we go. Let's do this. Uh, what do we want? Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, what am I? Ah, oh, flip. These are all supposed to be whole notes, not quarter notes. My mistake. No, this needs to be root. Okay, <coughs> so I 
Was ist okay. <coughs> okay, then what we do is a cool little trick I learned. We turn this, which is a third, to a fifth. Listen to how it changes the sound. Okay. <coughs> Don't worry, we'll put the dynamics in later. Uh, uh, and then let's just... Now, at this point, we're going to the fifth and then to the fourth. Someone please feel free to correct me if I'm using the wrong numbers, by the way. This is... <coughs> but if I'm not mistaken... Okay, experimentation, right? This could sound terrible. <coughs> That's actually not bad. It's not really what I'm going for though, so. Although, I'll take it. One minor change though. I think we want to make this... Okay, that might work. <coughs> I don't know. There we go, there we go. <coughs> Got something there. Okay, I like it. <coughs> now we could go back to the root. Or we could actually go to the six. And I like the idea of going to the 6. Now the 6 and C, of course, being A minor. So. <coughs> maybe a bit too low. Also. Ah, uh, this rubbish. <coughs> Okay, now the thing is, we need, if it's a minor, we actually need a C in there somewhere. <coughs> so I think that's what this is going to be. Uh, we need an E as well. K. 
Okay. Was ist das? <lacht> And then we can do another cool thing. Again, you're taking that. So this, okay, for those of you who are new to uh, music theory, all that we've actually done, okay, if you ignore the, the first violins, because that's almost playing like a counter melody. These four facts, Okay, just do that. Right, so the first, third, and the fifth, and the right. This is basically just a C major chord. This is also a C major chord that we adjusted that up slightly. Um, when we get to here, that's our F major. Uh, wait, is it? Yes, yeah. That's our F major chord, but with that note, just for fun. That's an E, but yeah. And then this is our G major. Okay. Uh, let's check something. And then this is our A uh, minor. <clears throat> and again, we've swapped these things around. Really, that should be there, and that should be like that. <clears throat> Let me listen to this from the start and get the correct context. Uh, hang on, I meant to listen to you. <clears throat> what? Okay, we need to... <sighs> Almost want to put like a seventh in here, you know what I mean? But Well, we know it's a G chord, <clears throat> so let's at least get that started. What if If I was playing this on piano, okay, we can try that. <clears throat> and then I don't know, let's just see. <clears throat> There's something there, but we need to... We're gonna say the same. Maybe that. Ooh, that's beautiful. This chord here is beautiful. <clears throat> I 
is this listen from Lark here? <clears throat> now almost feel like this chord should be here, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Very subtle change, <coughs> but it makes all the difference. So I just want to quickly check who's messaging me. Oh, my good friend April's live. Okay, we will have to... <coughs> Alright, so point is... <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure we can just repeat what we've got with the strings. Okay, and end up, no we can't, something's, okay, hang on, let's play from the start and see how it sounds, oh, that's all we can't repeat, okay, so we're going to adjust, <coughs> I'm going to repeat from here, and we should get, does it line up? Perfectly. Okay. But you, the thing is, at this point where we start to repeat, I want to actually add in uh, bassoons, maybe. Let's see how it sounds first, uh, and then we'll decide. Okay, sorry, I have to fix this. Otherwise it's gonna bother me. Wait, why? Hang on, what that happened there? Okay. <clears throat> what it is, is it's just these ones that we need to connect up. Okay, right. Sorry, from the start. Okay, I'm gonna make another change here. <coughs> this bar here, this whole thing here is a bit of a, because we're going into. I'm gonna change this to. Uh. Actually, no. Scrap that. <coughs> this is going down here. And this is going to be a harmony. Alright, listen to this. And then... There we go.
Okay, cool. <clears throat> I don't think we need to bring the bassoons in yet. But the point is, we have the start of a good piece. So the next step at this point would be to bring in, um, essentially repeat the uh, melody line, but bring in the oboe as a counter melody. And that's going to take a bit of work, to be honest with you guys. Um, but... Um, or do we use a clarinet? I want to put some kind of um, joining tissue with something. <clears throat> I just don't know what. Okay. Over. Something as simple as that. And then on top of that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh -uh. Uh, what about. Do you know what I mean? Like. And then... Okay, will this work? I mean, let's see. Oh, well, hang on. Oh, that's why I went wrong. Okay, quickly put that in there. Right. Oh, that works well. Surprisingly so. <coughs> In fact, we can actually we can actually repeat. And we can bring in like a da 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 da. Uh, where's our repeat start? No, hang on. <coughs> Has to be half notes. Oh, 
Quarter to nights, please. Uh, right, does that work though? Trust me, that'll work better. <clears throat> and in fact, I'm going to put this in the oboe. Because now, listen to this. work there's some clashing going on here in this bar though those two are fun it must be these two I don't listen to this again. Ah, uh, hang on, here it is. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Bring in our bassoons. And our bassoons need to be quite low. <clears throat> okay. It'll sound a little bit strange, but don't worry, we'll bring in the rest of the strings. Nope, completely wrong. Yeah, that'll work. Actually, nope, okay, I was right the first time. Thank you. 
I think it'll work. <clears throat> but our bassoon isn't coming out loud enough. I don't think it's worth it. I think I think we actually put this thing down in our um, cellos. I legit think this can be better here because now if you listen. <clears throat> okay, so let's just to get some context. So you could just go da 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 or you go da 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 sort of da 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 one two three four one so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, well, we'll just be copying and pasting anyway, so. Um, yeah. <coughs> and we just ran out of, um... And you know what, let me save this quickly. Any ideas in chat what we should call this piece? For now, I'm going to call it uh, Relax and Chill, just because. <coughs> Measures. Let's add like 32, we can always get rid if we don't need da, dum, bum, bum. Um. <coughs> okay. <laughs> then we get basically copying and pasting, but with one subtle change. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that being... Actually, no, we'll go... This might just work. Uh, hang on. Uh, 
Oops. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know. This is a... Almost. So close. But I want it to be... There we go. <clears throat> then you bring in our... If you'll even hear the bassoons, I don't know. <clears throat> we might actually remove the bassoons from this whole mix because, I mean, I can't... Okay, but now... What do we put in with our strings? Ah, oh, aha, wait a minute. Question. <coughs> okay, first things first. <laughs> first things first. Um, before we fiddle with dynamics that far along we've got to fiddle with it here first so we're going to start check this out right we're going to do a um, dynamics okay now conventionally you wouldn't have to do what i'm about to do now but because it's an ar playing this we have to specify so we're starting every single bar off on piano okay <clears throat> and then we're going to crescendo each bar um like that so now we're back to MP which is your standard so it sounds something like this Ooh, hang on very slightly louder like I might actually put them louder than the bird we'll see get rid of that waste of space okay <coughs> I think I want to keep, I think we need to Not cracky, and again, be putting these in the wrong places. Is it just me, or does that sound like a mosquito? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, that's a G and a D, so G. Ah, uh, that's on the wrong. That'll do. That works. My only issue is this is kind of in the uh, Viola's uh, territory, <coughs> technically speaking. So we're actually going to move it to Viola's. Okay. Okay, just one quick thing. Can they hold a note for four bars? Mm. That's the question. I don't know. And then I want to actually, maybe we don't have to. Maybe we don't have to. Because <coughs> what if instead of, okay, what if we didn't hold it? What if we just did this? Because <coughs> what we're going to do and then we need our and of course <coughs> okay so how does that sound Uh, of course. don't think we need to add anything else because uh, at this point we just repeat the song again but we are running out of time unfortunately I wish I could stay longer but we're gonna have to finish this um, tomorrow well what's tomorrow um, tomorrow's Wednesday uh, we'll probably I probably could be on stream tomorrow but we'll see anyways for the time being Let's listen to this through one more time. Um, I think before we do listen through, where's the points where we, uh, where's the B parts? Was it here? Yeah, it is. I think it's at this point that we need to put in a... A diminuendo, and then... Is it called a diminuendo? Yeah. And then when we get to... Is it here? <coughs> 
Let's see. Yeah. We do that. Give it some flavor. All right. Let's see. <coughs> Obviously, this isn't exactly polished, but let's have a listen to what we've got so far, shall we? Yeah, and that'll take us into, so I think, personally, that's part one done. That'll take us into the second part, <coughs> which almost makes me want to bring a brass section in, but I don't think we'll, I don't know, maybe, I'll have to see where it takes me. I'll see you guys next time when we will continue on with the piece. Cheers. Thank you.